All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 57. All right. So now we're going to loop through the playlist song elements array with a for each method, right? Uh, the for each method is used to loop through an array and perform a function on each element of the array. For example, suppose we have an array of numbers and we want to log each of those numbers in the console. So basically doing a console.log on each uh, element. So we've got uh, const numbers equals this array with one, two, three, four, five in it. And using for each to iterate through the array, we'll say numbers dot for each, which is this thing dot for each. And then we'll have as the uh, callback function inside of this thing, we'll have number as the, what's that thing called? Parameter, we'll have the arrow. And then inside this little function section right here, we'll do console.log number, right? So first it'll log one, then two, then three, then four, then five, right? Uh, so let me show you what it would actually do because this, is, this isn't actually what it would do. Uh, so over here on the for each method MDM page, uh, it says that the for each method of array instances executes a provided function once for each array element. So basically the same thing. Uh, we've got const array equals ABC. And then when we do the same kind of uh, callback function here, except for its element instead of number, you can see they go they're going to put them on each line. Each one of these strings is going to go on a new line instead of with commas like this, just to let you know. All right. So we're going to use the for each method on playlist song elements. We're going to pass in song L, so song element basically, as the parameter and use arrow syntax to add in an empty callback. All right. So that's what we'll do here. We'll say ah, uh, playlist song elements. So playlist song elements, elements, and then we'll say dot for each. And then inside here for the callback, we're gonna do song L as the parameter. We'll do the arrow like this. And since it's gonna be empty, we'll just have the empty object like that. We'll cap off the uh, function or the uh, method with a semicolon, check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 58 and we'll see you next time.